Hi, welcome to Architectural Expo Studio. Today I am going to tell you about the lighting effects which I used for this project because I received hundreds of messages from different people where they were asking me about the lights effect that what kind of light I used for this building. So I will show you that what kind of lights images I used for this building and there is a big trick because you cannot put your picture here. If you will put the picture here definitely you cannot get a good quality of uh, render a good quality of lighting so it's not proper that i will not say that it's 100 percent accurate but if you will look overall look of the building the lighting each and everything is looking really nice means that uh, i didn't put furniture lights inside i put only the lights here which is spotlight here in the balconies i put it there i will show you now the first render which i got from this project which was this one you can see here that these are our shops which I already add pictures and then I apply a massive light over so the rest of the building you can see that there is no lighting so the second picture if you see here on this portion I keep the lighting and the rest I did not put it the rest of the building we can see that it's looking dark so that's why I decided to put lights inside means like this this was my final render but it's without photoshop now i'll show you the final render this is my final render which i already got from lumen so the question is that how i illuminate this whole building in sketchup if it's not lumen lights so if you have a look here you can see there inside there is a picture and how i keep this picture you can see here this is the sketchup model of that mo uh, that render and uh, <coughs> the lighting effect now i am want to show you which is this one if you have a look because this building is component i keep it in component because it was uh, symmetrical that's why i divide the building in the middle and then i prepare it means that the first portion i prepare and then i copy it from another side if i change some i will do something here so definitely it will be changed here so you can have a look here this was the picture which i keep inside but i didn't put the pictures here in front of the window i didn't keep the pictures like this because definitely if i will put my pictures here it will be not give me a very realistic view this is the first thing and the second thing is that i did not keep all the windows in the same uh, material means that the same glass you can see this glass is different this is different this one is also different why because these glass i will keep it little bit transparent this one glass i will keep it reflective and this one glass is transparent and reflective so means that somewhere or building you can see there is too much lights means that there is a reflection somewhere you can see that it's transparent and somewhere you can see reflective and transparent glass so that's this is also a big trick that which we have to follow for uh, Lumion and uh, SketchUp. So in this building, if you have a look on this picture, I this is one picture I already downloaded from internet, and then I keep it recess. Some of the area is recess. Some of the area is coming out. In this picture, you can see these are my spotlights. That while render because in Lumion the big problem is that whenever the object you are seeing and if you apply a massive on the top so if it's visible to the camera while rendering so it will give you it will illuminate but if you cannot see that area and you already applied the massive there will be no light if that area will be dark so that's why i decided to keep some areas illuminated some areas i recess it inside that the lights it will be not full illuminated means the building will be not full illuminated some of the areas i will see dark some of the areas where we don't have the lights means it's on the back side there will be little bit light not too much like this area we can see and this is this was my main entrance that's why i keep this area full illuminated that the focusing point means that this is or my my focusing point 
and this building i downloaded from 3d warehouse we are just for a reference because this area i didn't want to put too much trees or something that uh, the people they only concentrate on trees so now we have to go to SketchUp back and i want to show you something else this was my entrance area which i put it like another picture here here i also put one picture but there is also some recess means that you can see it's the the picture this one i keep it near to the window and the rest it's inside means that when one where when i will take the render some area will be looking dark and some of them will be too much illuminated that's why i keep the picture like this so if i will do control z means that you can see the lighting of the building that some of the area we can see here that it recess we cannot see any uh, picture or something here we can see that it's coming out and it's too much difficult to put furniture and these all things inside because it's not a small project or a small building where then later on the big problem is that you cannot adjust the furniture the lighting if the clients want to change something it will be really really difficult so that's why i also put some of the lights inside the picture means inside this building that while rendering it will be illuminated so now we have to go to SketchUp and there I will show you that the lighting tricks that what I did actually for this project which is this is our Lumion model because I want to keep a rainy and little bit uh, evening effect that's why you can see here that I apply a massive light here if I want I want to show you something these are our MSF all of them I apply MSF nothing it means that the spotlights or rectangle lights I didn't use here you can see here and uh, as I mentioned you the glass that some of the glass you can see it's the reflective but we have three types of glass here one two and three as I told you that some of them is reflective some of them is transparent and the glass balustrade which we are applied only the reflective and the transparent glass so inside if we come here this was the picture which we already apply in uh, SketchUp I apply only a massive and here from here I change the color of the lighting that I want to get yellow lighting because the night view mostly I cannot keep it uh, the same whatever the picture light we have because it will be looking too much dark that's why I apply the yellow you know the yellow tone that the building should be look more realistic and if we come here the same thing as I explained to you the same massive light I did not put any rectangle light anything even for the spotlight you can see I didn't use any uh means that is light or something i didn't put anything no not only light i am using because i was thinking that i will get the light from inside means that if here i put the lights it's not a small building it's, it's too much difficult that's why i decided not to keep the fall off too much keep it i keep it little bit low and uh, the whole building will be illuminated some of the area will be reflected some of the area will be not reflected and this is also the same lights which we can see here huh or in the this portion we can see that there is some lighting i use here the omni lights means why i use this area because this area was looking too much dark that's why in the middle of the building inside i also put these omni lights i put it there and the same color whatever whatever the color we have for the pictures and uh, the same colors i apply for these lights and I didn't put too much trees or uh, these all things because our building will be not visible so that's why I did not put it there and I will also provide the you know I also provide the settings of this building in the previous video which I already prepared for uh, those people who understand Hindi but the people they already requested it we did not understand Hindi kindly just translated in English my English is not too much good but I'll try my level best to explain to you people because many of the people you know every day they are sending me messages that kindly send us some tutorials in English for me <coughs> I decided to not to give answer to each and every person because it's not only one person 
that uh, the common comments whatever the people they mention in the comments in the messages i realized that i have to make a video in english that mostly the people they will understand because of uh, this video their idea will be clear that there is no need to keep rectangle lights inside because it's difficult you cannot get the lights too much from the from uh, the emissive light or uh, from spot light the good and the final solution is to put picture inside and keep it recess some of the picture will be coming out some of the picture will be go inside means that it will be recess one thing you will see near and the second thing it will be inside so it's the easiest way that the people will uh, you will understand and uh, you will get a very perfect lighting while rendered so here you can see the lighting of the building that here the light is not too much here we have you know a low quality uh, quality quantity of light here we can get too much light here this area is illuminated and the road i already apply a rainy effect in the background we have, we can see here uh, cloudy and these all things so and this is all my settings which i will also share with you uh, you can also find this uh, settings in the youtube description link i will attach this one thank you